Hello, welcome back. I am back in Santa Fe and it's a bit of a windy day outside so hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, I'm back inside my little camper and I was looking at the videos I made yesterday and realized there were a few features that I left out. I mean there are just so many details that I want to share um, so I'm going to include that now. I'm going to turn off the video and get my notes and I'll be back. Alrighty, so first off, this painting, I showed it before, but I wanted to um, just acknowledge that a lot of the artwork in the camper I chose because I wanted it to reflect um, different parts of my life. And I feel like the camper itself is sort of, um, it's a manifestation, a creative manifestation of the different parts of myself uh, that I want to explore more, uh, that I want to connect with. And ballet has always been a huge part of my life. I've had some conflict with it at times, but it was always a really big part of who I was as a child. Um, I loved telling stories through dance and that's why I was drawn to ballet and I was also drawn to the the discipline of it um, I was always a bit of a perfectionist so I kind of fit well you know in that in that career because you're constantly striving for perfection even though perfection itself doesn't exist but the striving to make something as beautiful, as clean, as technical as possible. I was really drawn to that. And it's just uh, such a beautiful art form. I feel just really blessed that I've had, I had the training that I did and the career that I did. I danced professionally with American Ballet Theater when I was 18 years old, which is just, you know, um, uh, something that so many young aspiring dancers you know strive strive for um, to get into a, a company and to dance professionally and it happened at such a young age you know sometimes I think well <laughs> I wish that I you know knew then what I knew now or what I know now you know that I that I had the um, the the life experience but um, it doesn't matter, you know, it's, it really informed, my experiences really shaped who I am today. And even though it was quite intense at such a young age, it got me through so many things. It gave me a skill that I have forever that I can share with students and that I, you know, I love to share um, as a teacher, as a mentor. And so anyway, the, the painting was not only the inspiration for the colors of the camper, but it represents a really important part of my life, a really meaningful part of my life that I want to capture, you know, it, it, just sort of the essence of what it meant to me, you know, the beauty, the grace, you know, the, the costumes, the, um, being on stage was um, just such a highlight you know, it's always a sort of an adrenaline rush you know, to perform and and in front of thousands of people and and to share that expression um, of whatever story I was telling, whatever emotion I was expressing, to be able to share that and and bring people um, into into the story and into the into the feeling and the music and and all of that. So anyway not to go on and on about it, but <laughs> that's why it's sort of the the centerpiece of my camper.
You know, the other art pieces are also really important. I wanted to, um, you know, nature has been just a really big part of my life as well. And um, the whimsical quality, you know, that you see in the artwork, like that's a big part of my personality. And I think that's something that is um, wanting to come out more and more in, in my life right now which is why, you know, this business, Wildcat Sisters Heart Sick Boutique, is sort of the, um, the most um, prominent focus right now, getting that going and um, the lifestyle, you know, getting out in nature more, connecting more with people. Um, I felt a lot of my life very isolated um, due to the, the trauma that I experienced in my childhood. Um, and as I've healed, you know, as I've really, um, connected more with myself and really taken care of myself and, um, gotten to know myself better and, you know, loved myself, these qualities, um, these parts of my, uh, life that were, um, more hidden away where I felt isolated are starting to, to kind of come out more. And I just feel like the camper was a creative manifestation of that. Um, and it's really bringing me into uh, the world more, into feeling more connected with other people in a way that feels authentic to me. So the whole project has just really been um, a, quite a, a, a creative way of healing and, and coming into um, a sort of a, a new identity um, or just a fuller sense of identity because um, I've always been who I am but just feeling more full and whole and integrating all the different parts of myself and um, so the camper itself is not just a tiny house <laughs> you know place to live place to travel, but also the uh, representation of my internal world, you know, coming out through through the artwork, through the, um, all the labor, you know, that went into um, building it and um, reaching out, even the parts where, you know, reaching out for support, um, telling my story and starting this new chapter of my life. So. I wanted to share all of that, but <laughs> there's other things I want to share One, too. Uh, being the floor, I forgot to mention, which is a really big, uh, was like the first thing I did in the camper and it was so fulfilling. So I'm going to show you more closely my floor. Uh, it used to be a linoleum floor, a uh, very traditional camper style floor. And um, I gutted you know, everything out of the camper. And this was the first project was to put the floor in and it's um from lowe's it's called uh, smart core i think is the company is the brand it's rustic hickory and it's very light and they click together so it, it was a little tricky i had to measure and um make sure it all fit um but it was super rewarding <laughs> and um just i think just makes a huge difference in the feel of the camper um and what else? Oh yeah, I wanted to show my jewelry because when I did the video yesterday, I didn't have my jewelry boxes, but this is where I have my jewelry and um, my toiletries again are in there. And oh yeah, there's these little tiny details that Andrew put in to, um, the the carpentry which was I just was so um, excited when I saw this little mouse gosh the paint has gotten really dirty I'm gonna have to um, touch it up but you can see the mouse there so I've got nature little animals in my camper and then there's a cat look how cute that cat is and a bird so I just wanted to show that off because I was just so like, you know, he, not only did he do like an amazing job in general, but just adding these little, um, you know, just the little details 
it was just really amazing.